In this video, we are going to cover how to work with an external synthesizer or sound module as a sound source in Ableton Live, and how to automate the parameters within your project. We'll cover how to set up your sound source in Live as a MIDI instrument, and how to record and playback MIDI. I'm going to use one of my favorite synths, the Archuria Microbrute. The Microbrute comes with a USB MIDI interface, so this makes sending and receiving MIDI very easy within Live. Once you've connected your synth to your DAW, we need to set up preferences in Live. We'll go to our Options menu and choose Link MIDI. As you can see, the Microbrute has created two MIDI inputs. We'll be working with the Microbrute input, so we want to make sure that both the track input and output are set to on. And we may want to sync the Microbrute to Live, so we'll turn on the input sync. First, we want to set up our external device, so we'll choose a MIDI track or create a MIDI track and go to Live's Instruments and select External Instrument. Next, let's set up an external instrument so we have the right output set for our MIDI to play through Live to our external device. We'll open MIDI 2 and select Microbrute. Then let's set our audio output, which is input 4, on my DAW interface. Next, let's set up our input source for recording which will be the microbrute. I've got my metronome set up, so let's record a simple MIDI phrase. Let's click on our clip and, in the clip editor, set our clip start and stop points. Now we can add some clip automation to this phrase. To enable clip modulation, we need to click on our track, and in our external instrument, tell it to display modulation parameters. To do that, right-click on the gain knob and select Show Modulation. Now, we'll select our MIDI clip. Click the small e in the clip section, then click on Envelope and we'll choose MIDI Control and the MIDI parameter that we want to modulate in our microbrute. In our case, the modulation control or MIDI Control number 1. Now let's draw in our automation. Let's add a drum loop and put this in context of a groove. Let's take a listen. Finally, we can add some MIDI effects and audio effects to give us further motion to our clip. I'll add Live's MIDI scale effect, and for audio effects, I'll add a flanger and a sidechain compressor. I hope this gives you some inspiration as far as what you can do with your external devices. With Live's various automation choices and effects, you have infinite possibilities with your external synth source. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments below and please subscribe to my channel.